Um, hey, just want to talk about a few things. Now, I've been on the PE diet, um, I think it's eight or nine days, eight days. And I, I a couple of things. The first thing I want to go over is I did have a big diet. That's actually what started me on the YouTube. I, I'm off of YouTube. I haven't done that many this year. I had about, I've had about as many views this year as I had in 2010 in a week. I think. I don't know. Because during the election year, I think Ron Paul was running at that time. And I did some videos on him, which I later took that, took took down. Because somebody I worked for wanted me to get rid of con controversial content. And it was it was up there. I mean, he, he really pulled people at that time. This was in uh, 10. Late 10, early 11. He pulled people. His, his concept, he, he pulled a lot of viewers. So a lot of people have laughed at me about some of my accounts that I had, especially when I was living here and working at a, a telemarketing operation. The subject pulls people. If you have a good subject, people listen. Now, I don't care. I, I, I don't think I've ever, I got a check for this in 2013 from Google and I never cashed it. I don't recall cashing it. Maybe I did, I never did. It was like 38 bucks. I'm not into that. I just want on here. And it, it's kind of neat that after I'm dead, somebody's watching my video. It's kind of neat. So I, I, I'm not looking to die anytime soon. I'd like to, I think I'm going to live to, I think I'm going to live to be 100. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, anybody, um, you can't predict the future. So the first concept I want to go over is, uh, let's go through the PE diet real quick. Since you didn't watch, probably didn't watch it. The PE is your protein and your energy level. The guy that talked about it is a guy named Ted Naiman. He's a doctor. He's a medical doctor. You can check his videos out. I've got one video about him. I don't need to go over all of this. But the basic concept is you take your protein grams. They need to match your carbohydrate and um, fat grams. So if you're going calories, then you are having more calories because your protein is a higher fat food than, than protein. Or a, it's, a, it's a product, I guess we'll say. It's fat as a product has more energy in it than protein. And protein in Mr. Ned's and Mr. Ted and Dr. Ted's deal is not energy. It's, it's a building block. It's, 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 in, it's, it's, it's essential. So that's why he's saying you need energy and you need protein, right? So he he goes backwards, and he says, well, you take your the weight you want to weigh, and you eat that much protein, and you match it with your energy. So I went back and I said, was was the diet that I lost? How close was that to PE? Because I thought it was keto, because I was at like 50 grams a day. Uh, I've since learned that that was an Atkins level two. I never have done it. I never did an induction phase way back when. And I, I looked at it and I was about 150 grams of protein. And I think I was under the that many grams in my fats. Because I mostly ate hamburger, uh, salad, and salsa. That's the carbohydrates I ate. And then I'd eat chocolate mousse every day. Which is... You know, there are a lot of carbohydrates in that, but that was fat. That's probably what I pretty much ate. So, uh, I found that if, if you don't, you limit your variety, you're going to have better results. If you eat a lot of different foods, the more likely are you're going to screw up. If you keep it simple, you're going to be okay. So, I was on the PE diet. So, let me just talk about a few things. Uh, I've been fooling with my diet all this year. I did a I did a meat only diet. I'd say for four or five days straight. I've never done the the thirty day challenge, like some of the people out there say. I've never done that. Uh, I do eat a lot of meat, and I've been eating a lot of meat this in the last year. Uh, and I'm and I'm getting leaner. It's it's making me leaner. Um, I gained weight. I had a job where I was working for a major cable company, the biggest one, and I, would, I, I ended up eating ice cream every day while I was out. I ended up spoiling myself because I didn't like doing it. I didn't like 
walking all day and knocking on doors and people hating me. I didn't like it. So I, I used comfort food and I put on some fat. And it's still been persistent. I'm not like I was in 17 and 18. So I put on about, about a three-year problem. Because I pretty much kept my weight off from the 2011 or 2012 to 2000. I don't know, 18. I might have put a little weight on, but less than 10 pounds. Less than 10 pounds. Um, now, the only the other thing I could say is in that time, I, I never lifted heavy. I don't think I put on a significant amount. I, I just kind of stayed even. So if you stay even, especially as you age, you're going to drop. Just, you have to stay up. You have to, you have to go higher or you're going to drop. You know, it's just it's just that simple. You have to keep pushing your body, and I think Dr. Ted made that point very clear. He's he's made it clear, and when you talk about his exercise regime, your body has to think, "Boy, I failed here. I'm not strong enough. I got to get stronger." You got to tell your body that. And walking around the park, you know, five or six times, that don't do it. And don't tell your body, "Oh my God, we're way out of this." I mean, unless you're 80 years old and you're completely out of shape, yeah, then you're going to say, boy, um, then you don't have any more headroom, as uh, Dr. Uh, Doug McGuff says. He's a cool dude. He explains stuff well. So let's go over headroom real quick. Your headroom is what you can do on a minimum level and what you can do at a maximum level. So minimum, you can sit on your chair and watch and watch a YouTube video, that's a minimum level. Maximal level, you can deadlift 500 pounds. And that's a big difference. So, if you, if you're, if you're, if like my clean and jerk was at a 250, now I'm looking at, I think I could still pull out 150. So my headrooms went down. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it to fix it. So yeah, I need to fix that. So now, I just want to say that as of late, I'm not cramping like I did. I'm sleeping a little better. I did wake up a lot. Uh, I'm feeling a little better. I don't have the, uh, in the last week, I don't have the cravings like last week. I just was sitting around thinking, I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. I'm getting more satisfied. I don't, I don't need it. So I, I have been pretty consistent at the 200 grams of protein. or No, it's a 180 that I need because I want to weigh 180. So I've been consistent at the 180 for the last week. I, I think I pretty much hit that target. A lot of chicken breast, uh, eggs, hamburger, and sometimes when I get my hamburger because I buy the 7327, I, I cook it on the George Foreman grill and I save the fat to cook with. So I don't really have to use that. I don't buy that much butter. I don't have to buy it because I, I just use a, I just use beef tallow or beef renderings, I guess, in that case. So it's been going all right. So as my update, I think I'm doing okay. Um, I look better on the mirror. I, as I said before, I, I don't have a scale. Um, like last night, I was going to do this video. I did a thing where I did 50 deadlifts at 135 and then 50 push-ups. And the push-ups just killed me. I, I, I had to take long breaks between the last few sets to do the push-ups to finish 50. I just... I just tanked. My whole body just tanked, and I was so tired, uh, I couldn't make them. It just, it just wore me out. So, where I used to be able to do uh, a lot more exercises after I did those, it was easy. And this was only, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. In some cases, maybe four or five years ago. So, I, I've let myself go, and I need to get back in shape, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway... Take care.